Good afternoon, everybody. Brian David Scott, The Coffee Chef. We are live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and a number of you write in pretty regularly and you say, hey, Chef, how do you do a French press? And you know what? I'm gonna deliver that to you today. So what we've done is we've already measured out the coffee. It's been put into the French press. And the rule of thumb, if you don't wanna measure it out by the tablespoon, not a problem. Take a sham board like this right here, and you wanna put approximately one inch if you're gonna do an eight cup or a 12 cup, either way, you're gonna add about an inch. That'll make a really nice, robust cup of coffee. You want your water temperature, and this is critical. You need to have that temperature between 195 degrees and 205 degrees. Less than 195 degrees, and you're not gonna extract the oils properly. If it's more than 205 degrees, you'll scald the coffee, and it will be unbearably bitter. So we're at a point right now where the water has obviously been pushed in there. And we're just gonna take a whisk. And I like to do approximately 30 seconds each direction. What that does is it ensures that the grounds are perfectly absorbed. So, what part of the country are you guys in? I'd love to hear from you. For those of you that are watching live right now on camera, uh, much love, Mwah. love you guys, thank you. I really appreciate every one of you. Any Angelinos out there? I was born in Encino, raised my entire life on the East Bay of San Francisco, town of Fremont. And there we go. So I'm gonna just set this in the sink. We're gonna let this to continue brewing for approximately three and a half minutes. The reason I say approximately, and I don't go with the industry standard, do it in four minutes, I don't like four minutes. Four minutes to me renders a weaker cup of coffee. Again, I really appreciate the Italian way of doing it. It's thicker, it's stronger, it's richer. And for me and my audience at Cup of Luxury, that's how we like it. So for those of you that are watching and you like your coffee not as strong, totally cool. Keep it to that three and a half to four minute range and you'll have a beautiful cup of coffee the way that you like, which is what is important. So we're coming up on in about four minutes right now. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna press this beautiful coffee. By the way, the coffee that we're serving today is our Oscar. Oscar is a coffee that I crafted while I was on tour celebrating the 89th Academy Awards. And I wanted to do something and to kind of play with the media. I thought, how original to be able to create a coffee of this caliber to honor the academies. And so this is a independently graded five stars, 100 point coffee. And to anybody that is out there that enjoys coffee, this is a coffee you don't want to do without very rare uh, we can only turn out approximately 17 pounds of this uh, because of the origins and the rarity it comes in at a retail price of two thousand three hundred eighty five dollars per pound as you would expect with a coffee of this caliber you don't just drop it into a cup and walk away with it oh no my friends there is a ritual that is involved and i'm going to walk you through how we do this so both of you have been wine tasting before you know, you put a little bit of wine in that glass and there's a reason because you're gonna breathe in the aroma and you're gonna taste it properly. But I'm gonna teach you something today that a lot of sommeliers don't teach people when they're doing wine tasting and that is how to fully activate your olfactory so that you can taste and smell everything perfectly. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of coffee in your cups. Please hold on to it. Don't drink it just yet. Here we go. Little bit for you, little bit for you. Thank you very much. All right, what I'd like for you to do is give it a little swirl, just like some wine in a glass. Nice, gentle. I will tell you, by the way, for those of you that are watching on the other side of this, the aroma that is permeating this room is insane and it's it's a lot of fun mm. so anybody that is a skeptic out there saying there's no such thing as a 100 point coffee watch because i'm going to tell you the reality is these are not actresses you could not even if you're the best actor in the world you could not mimic or replicate the faces that you're about to see live so ladies what i'd like for you to do is a couple of things please tilt your cup towards the light see the beautiful hues of amber oh yeah 
There are companies that will spend millions of dollars to synthetically create that effect that you're looking at right now. Wow. This is perfectly natural. Now, the other thing I'd call your attention to, notice that there's a layer of oil on the surface. Mm -hmm. That oil will be with you from sip to finish. And that is what's gonna lay down on your palate like a crushed velvet. And the viscosity is perfect. So, what I'd like for you to do is you're, you're gonna have your mouth open and you're gonna put your nose into the cup. Now, you'll see a lot of people do this. Okay, sorry, that's lame. You wanna really get your nose into the cup like this. Okay, so nose in there and with your mouth open, do just like this. Breathe in, breathe out hard. Breathe out, breathe in. Now watch, do it again on your own. And this time you're actually gonna taste the coffee on the back of your soft palate. Now this is where it gets exciting. Watch, when you're ready, I want you to slurp this coffee, just like this. Slurp it, and let that palate aerate. And what you're gonna find, you're gonna do this four times. And on the fourth time, watch the way this coffee just explodes to life on the palate. When you're when you're swirling around in your palate, slowly exhale through your nose. Mm. Again, for those of you that are watching, these ladies are experiencing the most magnificent cup of coffee that is on the planet. It is it's to true. guarantee. So, but don't take my word for it. I obviously am biased. So. What do you think, chap? <laughs> this is really good. Normally, I don't like a black coffee without something in it because the coffee generally has no flavor. <laughs> this is nice. Cheers, my Beautiful. friend. Beautiful. This is amazing. Yeah? Cheers. So, I had a friend of mine wrote me an uh, email. Uh, we were talking on the, on the phone, and he said, because black coffee matters. You know, and black coffee matters. And in this case, there's a total absence of any bitterness. Right. You know, it's only pleasant undertones, overtones. Um, how would you describe, like, what are some of the descriptions that you would throw at our, our audience today? I, I don't feel, I, I feel a, like, a, what do you call it, like a, a smooth, kind of creamy kind of feeling in my mm -hmm. mouth. Mm -hmm. It really, that's why I was like saying, you don't need to, I don't need to add anything to this. I don't want to. Need, I don't want to add sugar. I don't want to add cream. I just would really drink this coffee black, just like this. It's it's very nice taste, and it's and it's light to me. Like some people would think it would be a real, because especially as strong as it smells, it yes. smells so strong. I was thinking, oh, this is going to be. You know, I'm I'm prior I'm prior military army, and we drank black water. Basically, <laughs> it was like like mud. Sludge. You know, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank you. What do you think? I like it. Can I have some more? Absolutely. <laughs> I know. I need some more too. <laughs> he, should, he just gave us a taste. <laughs> and you're right. Uh, only black coffee is so difficult to have. And this is amazing. It's very nice. The viscosity that I had alluded to earlier, um, the way that it, it just flows. It's not tasting bitter. Mm. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Now, it really is a magnificent coffee. It's, it's one of the reasons why I love doing what I do. You know, we have a coffee that really does bring people together. And you can celebrate and laugh and talk and mm -hmm. fellowship and celebrate. And that's exactly what this is all about. So. A lot can happen over the cup of coffee. Yes, yes. I, I thank you. I thank you for teaching us about Absolutely. This. Cheers. This was lovely. It was my dream to get with Chef Brian and, and actually taste his gourmet coffee. We tried for six months. <laughs> six months. We would have like a, a date set and then something, something would happen. happen. Mm -hmm. So timing is everything. For all of you that are out there, we want to say... A very happy Thanksgiving happy to Thanksgiving, you and your family. Yes. And if we don't get a chance to film together before then, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. 
And God knows 2021 has got to be better than 2020. Come on now. So <laughs> cheers, everybody. God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And make sure you look up. Tell them where they can find you and get your stuff. So Instagram, Luxury Coffee Chef. Luxury Coffee Chef. And on Facebook, Brian David Scott. And that's Brian with a Y hyphen David, last name Scott. Show up all over the place. I've got my fan page for coffee, fan page for my chef work, and then my personal page. I'll accept you on all three. So I just love celebrating. I love to have a great time with people, and I have the pleasure of doing it over amazing coffee and exquisite food and wine and just, mm, I love yes, it all. Yes, we've been blessed today. So please bless the chef. <laughs> my great friend running the camera right now is Chaplain Tamia Dow retired sergeant from Metro Las Vegas Police Department. I want to say a big shout out, Metro. Thank you guys for what you do. Much love and respect from this end. And Chaplain Dow wondered, you know, what would a bag of coffee cost? Because obviously not everything we do is in the $2,000 range. So we do have coffees that I make available to people for $25 a pound. I have a special coffee for police officers and firefighters to uh, donate back to their departments. Uh, roughly $10 a pound goes directly back to your department so that you can have money for training, for equipment. Uh, to be able to do that, simply go to BrianDavidScott.com. So BrianDavidScott.com and get in touch. You'll see the, um, from the homepage, scroll down a little bit and you'll see the coffee link. Uh, get in touch with me. I'd love to help you out. I'd love to get you the best coffee in the world. And uh, yeah, let's rock. I am Brian David Scott, the coffee chef. I'm out. <laughs>